We're gonna go rapid fire with this. He's just gonna grab and go and swing. Hold on. He's gonna grab it with his inside high fast grab, so the same high as we're working on. Okay? And then he's just gonna give a little tug and he's gonna he's gonna shoot. And he's gonna rehearse this motion where he gets all the way to the back top. He's gonna shoot him really hard, he's gonna grip and drive the angle. I'm just gonna stand there and be a good partner. So as he grabs me, his hands go on the same way every time. His hands go on the same way every time. His hands go on. Okay? Hands go on. He doesn't have to think about it. Hands go on. Head position. Body's in the right position. He's already winning. <coughs> he's already winning. You gotta understand why this is so important that we do this correctly. When he makes contact, he's already winning. Now he's gonna step, his head's gonna go underneath my chin, swing, see how he pushed to behind me, and he went ankle, knee. Ankle, knee, he gets up and does it again. He doesn't have to put me down, so we're wasting time. Right? Really change level of the step. Next, let me drop. More power, more power. Okay, so I want it so he doesn't have to think about it. So when he's wrestling, his hands go instinctively to the same spot. He sees a shot, he's going to feel it's going to happen without a lot of thought. Right? Because your body can move faster <coughs> than your brain can move and think. But when you rehearse it and you get muscle memory, this stuff happens. Okay? So you're going to go 10 and 10. I don't want you to go that fast. I want you to be more deliberate, but I want you to go 10 and 10 right away to the next round. Dummy person just standing there being a great partner, giving a great feel, not falling over. Question. Okay, one, two. Okay, come out, come out. Again, everybody spread out. Or move, move closer, excuse me, if I confuse. Okay, you're in your square stance. Show me your square stance. You're kind of small. You're kind of small in your square stance. Move your feet a little bit. You're small. Now you're going to step. Diagonal step. Go. Okay, again. Rewind. Rewind the square. You're moving. And you're going to step. Squat. Again. Your attack arm is cocked, your post hand is posting. Step squat. Again, don't drop your head. Keep your head up. Step squat. Okay, don't step straight forward. It's a diagonal step. Diagonal step over your shoulder. Diagonal step. You're down. You're in your stand. Step squat. Again, step squat. Do it with me. Step squat. Keep your head set up. Step squat. Step squat. Cock that hand. Step squat. Go back. When you go back, don't come out of your stance. Go. Yeah, ready, swing. Okay, look out real quick. Okay, come a little tighter. When you hit this shot, come in closer. Your arm must do the right thing. You can't go short arm. You've got to get the crook of your arm around the back of his knee. So if you do something weird with your arm and it doesn't look like this hooking, shooting motion, I want you to refine this. <laughs> like it's a hook shot. If you do anything weak or your hand goes out, I'm not gonna let you touch my leg. Forget about it. If your hand goes away from my leg, if you don't, if you don't get your hand to my leg quickly, here, go, 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 go. There's no way I'm letting you touch my leg. You've got to beat this hand. No way. I don't even have to get in the stance to stop you. Go. So you got that. You got that. So this has to be fast. And it has to be, say there, square. It has to be a hook. I have to throw that hook. I have to throw that hook. So if you do that, you have to do that when you drill it. Okay? Hook shot with your arm. Let your body rotate. Don't come in there with a weak arm, okay? And the other thing is the angle of your shoulders. My attack shoulder must stay lower than my other shoulder the entire process of the shot. And no time can I come in and lift my other shoulder or my attack shoulder, okay? And I want you to understand what this means, stand up. So when I enter the shot underneath his face, look how my shoulder angle starts to dip. My attack shoulder. Do you see this? Yes? Yes. Okay, and then I drag it. Now look at the angle on my shoulders. Okay? Go ahead, sprawl. Okay, I never lost that angle. If I came in like this to single, what do you think could happen? Yeah, I get pancakes. Or even if I get in like this, he's still going to, he has, no, he's just a hard wizard. Actually, he can handle me. Right there. Okay, so the, the, what makes it work is my body position. 
I'm set. I have shoulder, knee, what? Alignment. Alignment. Okay? I'm not like this. I'm not back. I'm not. So I want you to think about taking your shoulder to the top of his bicep. Your head's got to stay up. Don't guess. And if you don't execute the actual penetration, that's what I want you guys to master. Some of us are still like dropping and grabbing. You have to be able to shoot. To shoot. You see the shot part? That's the fast part. Okay, so jet without a partner. Think about your shoulder angle and your arm angle. Okay, let me see. The swing. Okay, and recover. Go. Okay, here we go. One, two. Spread out. Come on, come on. Awesome, awesome. So we're getting a lot done on this single one. Pay attention, Sean. Thank you, Sean. Okay, so um, you want to finish on the move, okay? So some of, some of it, like you weren't ready for this information, now I feel like we're ready for it as we progress through the move more. So just get in a stance. So when I shoot and I end up here, and I, I just shot the penetration, well, I'm, I'm still not done. I'm still kind of on the side of him. I haven't completely turned and gotten all the way behind him. So there's another push. There's another push. Another push. I push and I slide. Okay? So it's a shot and a push slide. It's a shot. I got the leg now. I don't have complete position. I need to get all the way behind until it fits. So my shoulder is right below his butt cheek and everything fits like a glove. Okay? Turn around this way. So when I hit the shot, boom, I'm here. I slide to this position and I keep sliding. I keep pushing and I get to the far leg. So I like to say, I want you to finish on the move. Don't stop and hold the leg, right? So ideally I'm here. I pushed in one first, then he pushed back. I snapped him. I came up, I found the shoulder, boom, 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 boom. I never stopped until he went down. I'm not going to stop and hold. I'm going to keep wrestling and chase him down all the way until he hits the mat, and then I cover his body. Okay, so get him to do it to me. So the inside tie, he's got hip position. So I want to start with uh, push first. Notice when he pushes, he doesn't, he doesn't change his lead. Okay, he's going to go push. Now do no, him harder, harder, harder. Boom, right there, pushing. As they're pushing, he's going to snap. There, find the shoulder. Go, right there. Switch off, switch off, switch off. He hit it so well, I didn't give him much resistance. Do it again and really chase that far leg. Inside tie. Uh, harder, harder, harder. When you come in, boom. Boom, like that. Then here I'm pushing back. Do a snap. Swing. Okay, all the moves, all the moves till I'm all the way down. All the moves. He hit, he turned the corner. He knee slided, chase the far knee, put the weight down. Okay? Two and two. One, two. 